Well, I've just literally completed the last brush strokes on a painting that I've been so excited to share with people. It is the latest of my chapel paintings. It is called the Dogwood Chapel. Over the years, I've done a number of chapels, and of course, the most popular series of chapels is the Chapels of Nature. The first painting in that collection was a painting called the Mountain Chapel. I followed that up with the Forest Chapel, a beautiful setting in a wooded forest with the mist rising off the stream. Streams of Living Water, an extremely popular painting, was number three in the Chapels of Nature collection. And of course, the fourth painting in the collection is Dogwood Chapel, and this one is exciting because it is very symbolic of that season in life when two lives come together and a new bond of marriage is born. I put a small hidden tribute to my own daughters as their lives are blossoming and they are coming out of the cocoon of childhood, so to speak, and getting ready to spread their wings. 1988, I had my first child. Nanette and I were so excited because it was a little girl and we named her Merritt. A couple years after Merritt was born, Chandler came into our life, and it was as though God had doubly blessed us, another girl. Three years later, Windsor was born. A couple years after that, Evie, in all four beautiful girls, what a family and what a celebration of love. I put four tiny monarch butterflies hidden in this painting. The first time I've really painted butterflies in a setting like this, so look and see if you can find them. There's one at the left, one butterfly on the right-hand side, and two, which are playmates, perhaps symbolic of my two little daughters who are the best of friends and who play together all the time. Whether you know someone who's getting married or maybe you are just celebrating your love in a brand new way, this painting is a reminder that God's goodness is evident in simple things like a flowering dogwood. This painting, I think more than any I've done in recent years, has blended the best of what I like to paint. I love vast landscapes, the mountain scenes, but I also love gardens and more intimate settings. I love streams and reflections, as well as nostalgic architecture. Dogwood Chapel is a very detailed painting. I had fun putting all the texture into the dogwood tree. I not only painted the white dogwood tree that we see on the left, but I also put a pink dogwood on the right, a very delicate, wispy tree that frames nicely, I think, with the weeping willow that we see there along the stream, a very common tree that you see growing along stream banks. I really enjoyed working on the mountain in this setting. If you remember my painting, the mountain chapel that I mentioned earlier, that painting featured a grand mountain. I wanted to return to that theme with the mountain, very symbolic of God's protection in our life, very much a sense of the beauty and the wonder of God's creation and the solidity and stability of His love for us. You'll notice that my church is a stone structure and I painted all that grout work in one stone at a time and that was a lot of fun to work on, as well as the colorful stained glass windows that you see, uh, very detailed with individual little colors, very symbolic of the great kaleidoscope of life. I really had fun with the lily pads. If you look carefully, you'll see those little pink blossoms on the flower. I also put some ducks making their way in and out amongst the water lilies, a nice touch that adds a pastoral element to the scene. Many of my paintings feature pathways, and these allow your imagination to explore the scene a little bit. I put a pathway that leads off into the distance. Around the bend, the way is hidden. Again, very symbolic of a life that comes together, and the future is oftentimes a mystery, but it is a hopeful experience as we see a young couple setting off together, exploring life. As an artist, I've always enjoyed painting reflective surfaces. Of course, we see the water reflecting the bridge and the light is hitting the bridge very dramatically and the water is reflecting that. I also had fun with the light on the windows in the church itself. And as you dim the lights in your home or in the gallery, you will see those windows really begin to glow. It's a misty morning in this setting. The time is a little before 11. 
a church service is in process, maybe even a wedding is happening on this beautiful morning. I like going out in this time of year and wandering around the neighborhood because there's often a lot of mist rising and I really tried to study the way mist comes up off the landscape and hovers around the mountains, creating a very delicate tapestry of light and shade. I used the effects of mist in this painting to establish a little extra depth as you pull back from the distant areas and encompass the entire scene, you'll see that the mist becomes a way that I layer the planes of the painting. The flowers are diverse. I put a lot of different colors. I like the climbing rose that goes out over the bridge. You see azaleas, rhododendrons. Above the door, there's a cross, a very small little detail again, symbolic of faith. As I always say, these paintings are a labor of love. I try to pour myself into each painting and then share it with other people. Perhaps Dogwood Chapel will remind you in some small way that God is there if we just take time to see him. This is Thomas Kincaid reminding everybody to share the light every day. God bless.